coming off its third straight appearance in the Patriot League semifinals, Lafayette men's basketball team back in action in Kirby Sports Center as they officially have started preseason practices. Matt Panto here inside Kirby Sports Center. We had the opportunity to catch up with head coach Fran O'Hanlon beginning his 18th season and was going to be a very challenging schedule, non-conference schedule for the Leopards as they get ready for 2012. Just to improve defensively on what we did last year uh, and rebounding. I mean, two things, we were very good offensively last year, I thought, but two things that can help make us better is if we uh, do a better job of containment and also a better job of limiting teams from getting offensive rebounds. So that's been, um, you know, two of the main themes. The things that these young guys have not done, they, ha they have not had to carry the load. So we're going to get an idea when, when everything's on them, how they're going to be able to carry the load. Because I think the potential's there, but we've been so reliant on, a, a, you know, a a Ryan Willen or a Jim Maurer or Rob Delaney. Uh, so now they're going to be put in situations where they're going to be the guys that are dependent on, on making the big play, the big shot, uh, uh, the big stop, whatever it happens to be. So we'll see how they respond to that. So it's, uh, you know, the experience, you can't, you can't replace experience. Absolutely, and that's a huge, uh, you know, uh, asset for us to have someone of Tony's caliber who can calm us down, can get us, has been through it, and, you know, this is his fourth year, uh, great leadership, and uh, so we're thrilled to have him back, uh, you know, leading us, and that's going to help us tremendously. I think more than anything is we have to get the younger guys up to, uh, to, to the same level as the guys that have been back here because, you know, for us to have effective practices, uh, we're, we're going to need some of the young guys to step up, some of our freshmen. Right now we have seven healthy bodies of guys that have had experience. Jack Detmer has been hurt, so he's not in there. So you're not going to be able to play with seven bodies. You're going to need two or three of the other guys stepping up. So a big theme is catching them up to, to the rest of the team. I think it's helped us tremendously, you know, you know, when you saw that Dan Trist had a good European trip, um, you know, Joe Dzinski, guys that have now, it was, as we just talked about, we were relying on them to to carry the load and I thought they did a pretty good job. It's also helped as far as, you know, our team camaraderie, it's made us closer. It was a great uh, experience for us and, uh, and, and let's hope, um, I think it's going to pay off in the long run. Uh, well, I, I'd like to start scheduling, rescheduling now. <laughs> Every time I look at that as it gets closer, it's, a, it's certainly daunting to say the least. Uh, you know, and then as you look at it, I'm looking at uh, all the prognosticators. Uh, you know, Delaware's picked as one of the top teams in their league. Uh, obviously, LIU, we play them twice. They're, they won it two, three years in a row. Uh, we got K Kentucky won the whole thing, uh, not just their league. Um, you know, you're looking at, uh, you know, Stanford who won the NIT. Our schedule is, is brutal, to say the least. And I... I think our guys are excited for the, for the schedule, for who they're going to play. Uh, and that's not, we haven't even talked about our league, you know, when you're talking, looking at Lehigh and Bucknell having just about everyone back. Uh, but they've been working extremely hard. I, I do think that uh, we're going to be competitive, uh, you know, outside. Uh, and, and as long as we stay healthy, I think that's going to be a big factor. I really like their energy. I like, they really like each other. They're a very close group. Uh, um, and I also think that we shoot the ball extremely well. Um, and, and with that, too, that we shoot the ball well, we do have an inside presence in Dan Trist. I think if you're a good shooting team, you do need somebody that, that can draw the defense inside. And I think Dan's going to give us that. So there you have it. Just a quick look into the Lafayette men's basketball preseason practices with Coach O'Hanlon. We'll be back on GoLeopards.com and the Lafayette Sports Network as Patriot League Media Day will take place over in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania on October 24th. GoLeopards.com and Lafayette Sports Network. Full coverage from Patriot League Media Day next Wednesday. Matt Panto for GoLeopards.com.